What's up guys this is Bharat here welcome back to another video on Tech Matrix today let's check out the world's first true android pc it's the remix mini brought to you in india by quirk tech let's get to it I got this on quirktech.co and they are exclusive sellers for Remix Mini and plenty of other cool gadgets uh, like the UO Smart Beam laser projector, Dreamwave range of Bluetooth speakers etc. So head over to quirktech or buy from any of the leading online shops. I'll leave the links in the description below. The Remix Mini cost 4999 NR in India and 8999 US dollars for the rest of the world for the 16 GB variant which comes with a 2 GB of RAM. It comes in matte black and with a very organic and simplistic packaging. Opening the box you get the Remix Mini, a 5V 2A adapter, a short 50cm HDMI cable and some instruction manuals and installation guide etc. At the back you get all the necessary ports from the left. You have the 5V power port. Next to that you get a full size ethernet port and then you get dual USB 2.0 ports, a micro SD card slot and then a full size HDMI port and you also get a 3.5 mm headphone jack as well. Other than that you also get a built in 802.11 BG and N Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0 for wireless connectivity. Now although this is lightweight at just 134 grams and are just 1 inch thick and 4.9 by 3.5 inches wide which is a very compact bevel shaped design with a black mac textured finish with white remix logo on top while being tiny this packs a punch with a 1.2 gigahertz quad core cortex a53 64 bit processor it can do h.265 4k hardware decoding with the 16 gigs of onboard memory and 2 gigs of ram You can also extend the storage up to 128 gigs on the SD card slot and also use any pen drive or portable hard drives on either of the USB ports at the back to extend even further. Connecting this is also minimal and simple. Just connect to power and use the HDMI to connect to any monitor or TV and you can use the USB ports to either connect wired keyboard or mouse combo and a wireless keyboard or mouse combo as well. And then tap on the Remix logo on top which is also a capacitive button. for powering on and off the pc would have loved to see some sort of led for status but there is only a green led which shows whether it's plugged to power or not once inside on initial startup you will need to first set up the pc similar to that of any android phone by inputting your google login credentials and you also may get some updates to install at the time of making this video it was still at 5.1 android lollipop you can get access to android's 1.6 million apps through the google play store and with the icon available on main screen it's pretty simple and intuitive the main screen looks somewhat close to windows os and it's also intuitive it has a trash icon on the home screen and at the bottom you get a taskbar similar to windows and also has a start menu sort of thing with a shutdown restart menu combined here Uh, this also opens all the apps that are available in sort of a format that's relatable on a PC, and also a Play Store to download almost any app similar to your phones. There are many apps that are not optimized for desktop viewing, but it functions well. On the right bottom, you get a notification bar and also a tray with Wi-Fi, volume, Bluetooth, and memory clean options. Uh, you can also drag and drop on this, similar to Windows, which is a very good implementation. and uh, watch movies of uh, youtube in multi window mode which lets you multitask easily in the settings menu you get to change the display resolution to max of 1080p at 60 hertz and also have an option to change it to 720p as well now you may be seeing some lag that's mainly due to the screen recording i'm doing on this uh, without the screen recording it's fairly smooth Now with all these features this is a definitely a value for money PC alternative with some sacrifices but at the same time being compact and portable there are however some drawbacks like no lights indication to store status no remote desktop feature to allow remote access and use and it's also slightly sluggish and also doesn't have any upgrade options to a better processor or a ram like on a PC However these are recommended for basic computing like using as a media center device or for using while doing less memory intensive tasks like watching YouTube or movies or getting access to mails using Microsoft Office, Word, Excel or PowerPoint and some Android games or light gaming and if you do have a touch screen monitor you can probably use this as an Android tablet as well to play any game don't expect high end graphics as uh, there is no integrated graphics but does have a 1080p output so that's it guys for this video if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and share this and subscribe for more such informative videos this is bharathia signing off